Ooh, the ticket guy. Can y'all see him? I don't think so. He's right. He was over there. Ooh, I show him my sits plates though. Ooh, he's over there. I guess not. Oh, there he is. When the cold winds are calling and the sky is clear and bright, misty mountains sing and beckon, lead me out. In my car, filming. Why? I don't know. There's people staring at me, and I don't really like it. Um, yeah, I'm at school, and I'm sitting in the back of my car, filming this video for you guys. Probably going to... Probably not probably redo this filming later on but yeah so today's video is going to be um my finals are next week the may 7th that week but by the time this goes up i would have been long gone and done with my finals yay <laughs> this is so weird um super uncomfortable um so i would have finished well i have by this point i have finished my um first semester of college as a freshman um and so i'm just going to give you some tips and things like that so let's get started to me, this first year of college, I thought it was going to be a car plong. <laughs> I just spit everywhere. Um, because I have been homeschooled my whole life, and so I didn't really know what to expect as to college. I just thought it was going to be like a car plong to my death. But no, it was actually really great. I, My first semester, um, I only took... I took English, I took, um, like, a different kind of English because, um, before you apply to my college, you have a test you take called the TSI, and I did not score high enough on my English one to make, oh, that guy just stared at my door, um, <laughs> um, to pass English so I had to take a, like a developmental English along with my English um, and then also I took this other course called um, learning framework was the world's boringest stupid class I've ever taken um I didn't get the point of it really the point was to just prepare first-time students um, into college and how to be successful but I didn't really get the point of it like of the class in general and then also the professor also made it a lot worse than what it was because she kept ranting during like lecture times of her divorce all these things are happening her animals how she hates animals how these um how things her daughter should have done when she was in college but she didn't do and just ranting about that sort of thing and so yeah i don't know that was not a good class but i did make an a in that class well i hope um <laughs> and that really helped my gpa the first semester um i didn't have that much course load since i was only taking one major subject which was English 
Um, so it wasn't that hard for like homework and assignments. I mean, writing, yes. I had three essays um, total in my fall semester of 2018. Um, the first paper I got plagiarized on Saturday, but I did not get I, I guess if you get plagiarized, you get dropped out of the class. And then sometimes, I guess, you go to the dean. But I didn't because I chose a great professor. You should take her. I'm not going to tell her, you guys, her name because, no, that's not right. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, um, she's a great professor. I love her. Uh, so most of that class got plagiarized on the first paper. And it was a 12 paragraph essay. Um, so I got plagiarized because like in my citations, which means when, I don't know how to explain it. It's my citation so I don't get plagiarized. Um, I took mine out for a picture because in that essay we didn't need it like a visual. And so I took that citation out because I thought if I didn't need, like, if I didn't use anything from the, like, picture, like, because everything I described was in my own words, and so I thought I didn't need to cite it, and so I took it out. So that's why I got plagiarized. But thankfully, instead of her giving us a zero, a big fat zero, um, <laughs> she was nice enough to give us half credit of 100, so she gave us 50. And then if we do like the extra credit, which I did because I take advantage of extra credit, you should too. Um, <laughs> and so I made a 52 on that. So yeah, other than that, um, let's see, because that course, um, towards like the end of the semester, I was failing the course, not by a lot. I was like, um, I was at a 66, I think, 67, and I needed at least a C um, for the program which I want to be in for school, um, which is a physical therapist assistant, and so I need in all courses at least a C or a better, and so I ended up with that um English course, I made a B in it, which was fantastic. I'm telling you, I went from a failing grade to a B, which is fantastic because the last um, paper I submitted in, there was a lot of extra credit, which I did. There was, I believe, like 12 points worth of extra credit. And so on my last essay, I submitted in. I made 108 on that paper, which was great. Really helped me boost up my um, grade in that class. I saw that 108 on that paper. I went screaming through the house and did cartwheels and handstands and yelling at the top of my lungs, I'm going to pass English. Thankfully, I did not have to take it again, which I do not. Um, so as I was saying, the ticket guy is terrible because he gives you tickets if your sticker on your car is not valid or something. So yeah, stay away from him. Anyways, fast forwarding on to spring semester. So this semester, I got a whole buttload of more school. I took medical terminology one. I took math. I took intro into physical therapy and I took psychology. Woof. We went up a hill, um, yeah, because in fall, I was only taking one really hard course in English, and now I'm up to four, but yeah, so right now, I'm still in the semester, so I don't know my final grades yet, but so far, it's okay, um, my medical and my intro to physical therapy, those are majority online, medical is solely online, but my intro to physical therapy one is um, half and half. So I only had to go to class for the whole semester, only twice. Once for the first day class and the second time 
to give a case study presentation, which a case study presentation is where you present this case of this patient of why they might need physical therapy. So yeah, you make up stuff, you random name, male or female and age, their condition, why they need um, physical therapy, or should they have medical, and blah, 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 and I got a 99 on that presentation, one point off, which, that's really sad, um, but I got docked off for my grammar, so yeah, check your grammar, children, um, <laughs> um, so my medical one is just online, I don't have to go anywhere, at the beginning of the semester, I had a 93 average, and then plunk, it went downhill because I got a 42 on it, exam two, which wasn't technically my fault, I feel like. I should have gone to the dean about that, but I didn't know where the dean was, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm scared of the dean, I don't know. But yeah, because it wasn't my fault, I thought, because, like, the exam opened on, I don't know, say, the 18th, and then it goes through, say, the 22nd. And so I thought, as long as I had it in that frame time, I'm good. I, nothing will re be wrong. I won't receive a zero on the exam. Boy, was I wrong. I took the exam in the middle of that time frame or so, and um, each day I didn't do it the day it opened. I got penalized because it was late, which they never specify that or anything. I had no heads up that it would receive a late grade, and each day past the open date, I'd get penalized. And so, um, so I didn't know that I would get penalized two days worth of not taking the exam the day it opened. And so that's why I received a 42. Otherwise, I would have made um, a 74, I think. Because that's the original grade it showed when I took it and submitted it in. But then within a few hours, it got down knocked down to a 42 so that kerplunked my grade average from a 93 to a failing grade I believe or no not a failing grade a really low C I was like a, a 71 72 in that class but yeah so another lesson um yeah take all quizzes the day it opens, you don't have the whole time frame. They just like to trick you, I tell you. And I gotta speed this along because I gotta get to class soon. Um, because I'm still in school when I'm filming this, people. It's my last day of class. Anywho, so that's my intro. My, um, my medical. Um, and then, let's see, my math. It's, once again, I didn't score high enough on the TSI test, and so I had to take a developmental math. And so it's not like your traditional math, where there are professors up there teaching you this math problem, this math equation, blah, blah, blah. You just sit your butt at a computer for an hour and 15 minutes and work on problems. And yeah, it's super boring. I don't get why that class isn't just online and then you come in for exams. But yeah. I'll go on to my last topic, my last subject, psychology. I have an amazing professor. I love him. He is. Oh, it stopped. Um, um, yeah. So my knees are sitting like this anywho he's hilarious i love him he uh, he's highly relate rated on my school stuff when you go rate my professor great website if you want to check out your professors 
Um, but yeah, he's hilarious. I love him. There wasn't a whole lot of homework. I think there's only been so far three assignments and they weren't due. Like, they're not hard. Um, so yeah, but as of right now, I am failing that course. Like, not bad. I'm at, I'm at a 67. So I need three points to get a C. And my professor, I talked to him, he was super nice. He said, um, that I could get a solid C. I'm hoping, I really wanted not any C's, and hopefully all of my schooling, I wanted all A's and B's, because when I put in my application to PT school, that looks really good, um, and they award you more points on your application if you don't have any C's. Um, but yeah, so I might end up, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up with a C, or I might have to take this course again, which I don't want to. No, thank you. But yeah, I had a great first semester. Don't hit my car. Thank you. <laughs> um, I love school. It's fantastic. Thankfully, I like it a lot because I'm stuck with it for until 2021 so we're in what 19 2021 so i got like two more years so yeah um for fall of 20 20 something 2019 slash 2020 i'm gonna be taking um functional anatomy amp1 um art and then i want to get another class in there but I'm holding off just in case if I need to take uh, psychology again but if not I want to take neurology so yeah this has been a great first year of college um I wish this college had more like activities because my camp my college has four campus locations I'm not gonna list them obviously um, but yeah, the main one that was first established, it's the bigger campus. Um, but that is like an hour and a half away from me. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't know to go there. I mean, I could live there on campus because this one doesn't offer housing because there's no it's not a big enough campus to offer housing for students. And I just wish I had more activities, sports, clubs, things like that. There's no sororities, nothing like that. It is a small campus. And it is just a junior college. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you sticked out through the end. Uh, yeah, I might record this again, like I said earlier. But who knows, my butt hurts like crap, and my knees, I'm getting old, people. So I'll see you later. Bye!